Hello, my name is Dushan and I'm an application engineer in Typhoon Hill. Today I'm going to show you our new feature, the Hill SCADA Model Explorer. For the sake of this presentation, I will open standard model from our example library. Let's start the example explorer and open default model from quick start page. This is one of our basic drive models with lots of inputs and outputs. Let's compile and load this model to Hill SCADA. All our example models came with pre-made SCADA panel. In this presentation I will show you how to easily make new panel. I will click on create new panel and black panel will appear. Traditionally we are building new panel by inserting widgets from widget library. The difficulty with this approach is that in order to, for example, set some command, you need to know API command by heart or to use Typhoon's API wizard. From this release, we have added another doc, Model Explorer. As we can see inside it, we have a list of all signals, variables and commands relevant to our hill simulation. List of all individual variables can be seen by expanding the navigation tree. Under the hardware settings, we can see all the analog and digital outputs of our hill device. In the folder we grid, we have C commands for setting RMS, frequency, phase and harmonics of our three-phase voltage source. The same applies to three-phase inverter, machine and coupling folder. Beside those folder, we have some standalone variables such as SCADA inputs and outputs and some current and voltage measurements. Another way to find desired signal is by typing in the search box. For example, I can type speed and we can see a list of all signals that have speed inside its name. It is worth mentioning that model variables that are colored green are read-only, while the orange can also be used for sending commands. We can see model variable info by clicking right-click on it and after that clicking show model variable info. Inside this dialog box we can see all the relevant attributes such as value type, in this case float, assess right, hill ID and allowed values. Let's start building our SCADA panel. Firstly, we'll start adding commands for setting simulation inputs. From WeGrid folder we can insert RMS value. Firstly, you drag the signal to panel canvas and after you release your finger, widget wizard will appear with suggested widget for this kind of variable. You can uh, choose the widget type by double clicking on it or clicking on add a selected widget button. I will put 230 volts for initial value. Also we will need frequency. I will set it to be 50 Hz. Another important signal is enable signal. Let's put it. Also, we'll need frequency applied to our induction machine. For the widget type, we can choose slider for example. And I can set initial value to be 40 Hz. The last two variables that I need is induction machine load. Let's put it to 0.1 per unit and modulation index which can be 0.5. Ok. As the command part is finished, we can now set the readings from the model. Let's scroll down to part with machine signals and insert machine electrical torque. As a widget type, we can choose gauge. I will also insert machine mechanical torque as a gauge. We will also need speed signal and as we want to track this signal historically I will choose trace graph widget. The last signal that we will need in our simulation is enable signal. 
and you can see that it is digital signal and as a widget type we can choose LED. Now we can start the simulation. As you can see machine is not running so I need to set enable to 1. Now the machine speed goes up and we can track both the mechanical and electrical torque in gauges. If widget gauges are not well adjusted with the signal values we can change its range in advanced settings. Let's put it to 2. At the end, if you want to insert other more advanced widget such as macro widget or capture scope widget, you can simply go back to widget library and insert it. If you want to find out more details about this feature, you can look it in our documentation. If you have any additional question or topic that you would like to be covered, let us know in the comment section. To summarize, in this video I have presented you Model Explorer, new doc in Hill SCADA that shows all model variables from model loaded to Hill device. This option changed panel building perspective from widget oriented to signal and command, command oriented. It is especially useful for a first time user and we hope that it will help in accelerating their learning curve. Thank you for watching.